Okay, it's a little after one o'clock on Saturday on the uh, 4th of March um, outside Balanabua and I made an executive decision. Today, we're going to see about getting our way to New Ross and finding a place to pitch our tent and do some stealth camping. Uh, the executive decision was my feet were boxed. Quite frankly, I've walked about 30 kilometers so far. So there's still another 8.5 as for Google to get into New Ross. And then from New Ross, where you get off to find the self camping, it's probably near two to three or four kilometers. So what I'm going to do is hop on the Wexford bus. I think it costs like four or six euros it's, uh, just to get into the key. And from there, we'll walk around a bit of uh, New Ross, maybe get a pint somewhere, check out the local scene, and then head out and try to find uh, camping spot before it gets too dark. So here I am, I just stopped at the Centra and then we're going to be heading that way. So see, stay tuned and see how I get on. So I just left the uh, Super Value. I picked up some provisions for dinner tonight and a uh, little juice for the morning to get me going until I get to the first place where I can have a coffee or something and we're just off the key and you're seeing around here I'm looking for a place to maybe have a quick pint and then head across the bridge and try to find a spot where I can put up my tent in a stealth position where no one will see me. So here's on the key, there's the the ship, the Brody ship. It's the old famine ship that you could do a tour if you're in uh, New Ross. And over there is the Kennedy Monument where you have the picture of him. I used that one for my uh, thumbnail for my new Ross vlog. You should check out New Ross vlog, it's really good. The, uh, you're surprised how nice it is walking around the whole the whole town. It's just and it was immaculate condition too. So we'll see. Now I'm just gonna look around and see where I can find a place to have a pint, and then we'll cross over, set up for the night, and then give her a shot tomorrow. Oh my God! What the heck's that? I don't know if you see it. There's always plants growing inside this building. different uh, different version of what a grow house is except uh, I don't, usually you're planting marijuana not just just plants like green plants weeds maybe I don't know uh, the property said sold so someone will get a surprise okay I'm going to turn it off until we find something Okay, I'm down this alleyway. To the right is supposedly the pub called The Rag. So I was in the back part and the lights were on and people were in there, but I couldn't get in from the back way. So we see all the uh, the crests as you walk up the, the little alleyway or lane that takes us to the main street in Ross. And hopefully to the pub, Cook's Lane. Okay. And no. <laughs> is it? I wonder where it is. Oh, it's here's the main street, so we'll take a look, see if we can find anything on the Well I couldn't get the rag, couldn't find to get into it, so found this place, Murray's, and I know it's open. So it's just by the clock tower on the Here's my complaint again. This is the location. It was a fiver, which is reasonable. And I'm going to have this. And then I'll be making my way across the water and see if I can find a spot to camp for the night. Okay, so I left the uh, the rag. Got in there. It was The door was closed, but you just push it open. So I met some interesting gentlemen. 
had a good conversation, a quick pint. Now I'm heading off across the water. And we're heading off towards to find to see if I can find a place to push put the tent up. There's the uh, back part of the town as we're leaving New Ross, heading on down towards the Waterford Road. And soon this area becomes Kilkenny. So I'll probably have a walk about a kilometer or two. And I think there should be something on the right. There's a sign on the left. Welcome to County Kilkenny. So we're in another county now. Well, that's not going as planned. The places that I researched that would be available, they have these big, huge walls that have been put up, a lot of fences, and some commercial places that have been used. There. So there's no real access. So I find myself just walking on the road towards Waterford. I don't know if I can see any places. Uh, the last sign said 25 kilometers to Waterford. So I don't know if I can get lucky. We'll see. Stay tuned. Well, we're still walking along. Here's the area. Now, there's an area there, but that's all farm field. And there's a tractor working the field just up ahead. Um, like everywhere else seems to be white white in the open and I think my bright red tent would show off where I am so I'm trying to see maybe another option might be to uh, go to a house and see if it's okay if I pitch my tent under part of the land or something like that who knows we'll see stay tuned and join me in my adventure I just met a gentleman there with his family and that, and I'd say they're travelers and they helped me out. They said that there's a pitch of a, over here by the post, there's a gate and there's a field there with no animals in that. And he said, I'm, I can pitch away there. So we might be in luck. Stay tuned. Job done. I could tie down these other ones, but there's not a wind. So I think this will be my home for the night. Okay. I'm all set in. Hopefully I don't get disturbed tonight. Here's my little tent set up. It's cramped, but should fit. I got my uh, rucksack there. Water bottle there, my roots at the end. I got my ground sheet, my pillow, and my uh, sleeping bag. So, let you know how we get on. Starting to get a little chilly. It's about 6 p.m. at night. All tucked away in the little abode. See how the evening goes. Already. Good morning everyone. It's about 5.20 in the morning. I'll give you a bit of a recap of how my night went on my stealth camping. Well, 
I have to say, I've had a lot better sleeps in my life. Um, this ground sheet was not really adequate, so it was like sleeping on rocks. Uh, it's cold. The sleeping bag was didn't have a tag on it, so I wasn't sure what the temperature level. Probably it's good from 6 to 10. It's like 2 degrees, so it was a little bit chilly, but that wasn't the worst of it. Um, something I must have drank or ate or something gave me a uh, terrible gas. So I had to get up at like one, 12 o'clock at night, went outside the bathroom, and then I actually threw up. I got really sick. But then after that, I felt great. I, it was just gassy from like on. So I spent about 12 hours here, rested up. My feet are okay. My back's okay. Like, so I should be okay for the next leg. So stay tuned for the... Uh, the mentor, I'm going to spend about 15, 20 minutes packing up, getting all my stuff together, and then we'll head on to go to Waterford.